What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Clockwork Empires. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to refine the process of colonizing this nasty little island that definitely wants to kill us. It has gone out of its way to destroy us from the inside and the outside between giant rhinoceros beetles and also the ever encroaching presence of the malign dark forces. Well, it's uh, it's been a bit of a mess, but you know what? Not that many people have died, so it's okay. Representatives of the Tsar's Advisory Council were invited to tour the capital, charming and being charmed in return by clockworking and aristocrats' ministers and barons of industry. Our relations have increased. Huzzah for us. Good stuff right there. Meanwhile, our little workers out here are flattening out some land so that this street right here can continue out this way. I'm going to have this loop back, basically, like so, and it's going to come around. And we've got a public house being built over here. Not really going to help us out too much because we haven't figured out how to distill liquor yet. You'd think somebody would have come over from the mainland with the uh, microbrewery skills to make this happen, but hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. I would like science material. Oh, we need glass bottles still. That's unfortunate. Do we have the stuff that glass bottles require? We do have glass panes. I can see them. Right? Yeah, we've got glass panes. We've got a bunch of glass panes, actually, so it shouldn't be too bad to make this happen. Is nobody... Nobody's assigned here? Why is nobody assigned here? What? How did that happen? What? I am confused by this. Hmm. I am very confused by this. So who do we have assigned here before? We had somebody assigned here. How much iron have we pulled out of the... I mean, because I could just close down the iron mine for right now and just not worry about it if we've got a ton of hematite. We've got 20-something. Uh, we really don't have that much. Instead, I would say just put another work group on this, I guess. I'll have... OG. OG is going to do it because he's got an awesome name, I guess. Unless there's somebody else who feels better equipped to be a miner. Sadie Uxter is in the mine right now. And she does have decent stoneworking skill, but... Oh, I don't know. C. Golden Wright, congratulations. You're now... Apparently our potter. You are now our potter. That explains why nothing was getting done. Fantastic. Traders have fled due to an attack. So they're actually being murdered right now by nasty fishmen. We could probably afford to go to war with the fishmen right now. They haven't really been that helpful. I thought that maybe along the line somewhere we would get to trade with them. It did not work out like that. Go ahead and get me some copper from those stones over there. If I can find any minerals sitting on the surface, I'm just going to flag those up for mining now because we don't have like we don't have a ton of people working on anything at the moment. Our assignments are being worked through very very rapidly. So, surface nodes will be mined. Not for normal stone, though. I want things like iron, zinc, all that kind of stuff. Coal, preferably if we could find it would be great. That's dark stone. We don't want to mine that. Dark stone will give you problems in the long run. You can mine it if you want. If you're feeling particularly brave, go ahead and try. But the dark stone, as I recall, if you build anything out of it... Perennial enemies. Livewood, what a sharp and Parmelian not have gotten into a particularly intense argument. Their shouting can be heard through the entire colony. You're lucky not everyone is blessed with such a hilarious brother. Oh, I've never in my life seen such a body second cousin. Their constant shouting is irritating other colonists. You've been asked to intervene. How will you handle it? Uh, give the vicar the chance. The vicar intervenes. After a few work shifts, we'll know the result of this. Okay, sounds good to me. I'm going to go ahead and grab those surface minerals there, those surface minerals there. There's actually not that much around, all things considered. Like, there are things here and there. Oh, there's some hematite. Absolutely. Sure. Keep adding it to the list. We could use all of that stuff, and quite frankly, I'm of the opinion that it might be quicker just to grab it off the surface than it is to mine down and go get it. That's a coal node right there, too. Go ahead and get me some coal, because we're absolutely going to need that. 
There's our coal vein right there. That might be coal right there too. Uh, but it's in between dark stone blocks. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, we'll get too many dark stone blocks from mining that one. I would just stay away from it for right now. And now I cannot see. However, those are coal nodes right there. So we'll grab those too, because you never know how much coal you're going to need. I'm assuming that in like a steampunk environment, we're going to need a lot of coal. Like a lot, a lot of coal. Let's see. We got brews like beer, wine, and chicha to remove, improve the mood. High alcohol and whiskey. We can also serve extremely potent laudanum. Okay. We'll work on the public house in a little bit. I don't think now is the time for that. For what we've got going on over here... Yeah, get us some bottles of laudanum, I guess. I don't know what our supplies are looking like. Like, I don't even know what some of that stuff is. It looks like some kind of extract, maybe? Raw opium. I don't know exactly where we get raw opium from either, so my guess is that we're probably going to go through our supplies of opium pretty quickly. You could grow poppies later on that would do it, but for now, I don't know if we're foraging that or what. You bring the two troublemakers into Beatrice Cog's chapel and they all have a long, quiet talk. After a while, they exit the building in significantly higher spirits. It appears there's nothing quite like a good sermon to calm the mind. The relations between the two rivals have been eased significantly. Good. Glad to hear it. The vicar's also got a line up on that crazy dank weed. The type of weed that makes friendships. And so I assume you probably saw a little bit of puff, puff, puff coming out of the windows. Passing that peace pipe and making sure that everybody's on the same page. How's this going over here? Man, that wheat harvest. That's going to take some time. Our provisions are dropping off too. Something to be aware of that... Hey, banditos. What are you doing right now? We're on good terms with them, but it still doesn't mean I'm not going to be suspicious. Diplomacy points are now full. We run that right there, and we're sitting at 96 with the Empire. I'm going to suggest that we start... Oh, Nova Rus, we're actually in really, really good... Huh. Cool. We're actually in really, really good shape with Nova Rus. So, we'll start with the Von Stahlmarks then. Make peace with everybody. An excellent opportunity has been used. Stone pellet ammo is done. At the ceramics workbench, I would suggest we make at least some science materials. Maybe not like a ton of them, like maybe like three sounds good. At the workbench, I don't see anything else in here. We have dewatering pumps that we could go with. But all of this seems to be wholly reliant upon the fact that we very much need... Hmm, has that been flattened out right there? It has not. Okay, flatten it out. We need more middle class housing. It may be a while before we see progress on that though because they're mining surface nodes at the moment. We may not see anybody fiddle with that for a bit. Although that's been flattened right there. Okay. I could probably afford... Ugh, so much ground to flatten. I give them those big assignments. Those ones that I know they're not going to get done for a while. So have you actually been out hunting and like doing your thing? I hope you have. I mean, we do need a meat supply. That was not like a negotiable thing that we needed. That room could use some shrines. So from my decor workbench, we're going to get five simple wall shrines just to bring that up a tad. On this side, we got the paper stacks ready to go. Mine shorings are already good. Assembly workbenches. Got that covered over here. However, we could use a decor workbench. Where do we build the decor workbench from? Give me a decor workbench. I want to see what I can do over here with decor workbenches so we can make this a little bit nicer. He's producing science materials, but it appears as though we're probably out of glass bottles. He'll work on that though, and he'll slowly hash that out so that we have all the materials we need in order to get stuff done. All that I really wanted anyways was the science materials because they were running out over on this side. I'm going to flag them to be restocked. 
We can do tonic healing. So there it is. Terrible traumatic injuries are commonplace in modern warfare. So our scientists set to work searching out a way to prevent lasting damage to our brave fighters. Their solution, an unusual mixture of sulfur designed to ease the humors. Our scientists assure us that this will have a significantly more potent effect than silly things like bandaging, assuming we can get our soldiers to actually drink them. We may now create sulfur tonics at the chemistry workshop. Sulfur tonics can be used by barbers to instantly and satisfyingly heal all injuries. Good. Let's go with improved decor research next and advanced module research too. Uh, we've got odd behavior. A certain colonist put on dark robes of eldritch fashion and left the village to some unknown. Okay, so we've got cultists again. We're going to have to seek them out. However, we do have the vicar now. The kind, kind vicar. What she upset about, safety is ignored, so we're going to need a second location. All right. Let's get to work then. Um, we're going to go with, with middle class housing for now. And we'll set that up over here. I'm going to build a couple of these because we don't need more overseers. But what we do actually need, what we really, really need, is we need more workplace capacity. And until we get some more, that'll be that. We need to build a new barracks too. That's the other part, is that as we start to draw in civilians, and I think we're maxed out on laborers at the moment, so we've got lots and lots of construction to do. A bit of expansion to take place with. So there's that. Done. We will slap a door on each one of these. Oh, good. We've got the plinths. My suggestion with the plinths is that we just make it a little bit nicer in here. Investigate oddities. Parmelia Knot, a concerned subject of Her Majesty, has come to you expressing alarm about the odd behavior of some of her fellow colonists. It's wholly unnatural, me lord, that they got up out to end the world. Something has got to be done. You know you can't take radical action without proof, so an investigation must be performed. Let's go with the vicar this time. We haven't let the vicar do anything in quite a while. So I think it might be a good idea got bricks laying around goddamn everywhere so hopefully we'll have enough to build the things that we need to build over here without too much trouble the investigation Beatrice Cog the vicar will perform research cross-checking the suspicious behavior reported against anti-occult manuals provided by the church see I didn't know that they had that otherwise I would have I would have built the church a lot sooner yay we put in a plinth and now the building quality is a little bit higher maybe that'll make people happy the shrines are done. Workbench, make me another plinth. Is it decor? It's got to be decor. There it is. Make me another one. I'll put it across the room so that they finally got a plus one, and that'll make them feel a little bit better. It's cramped, but it'll have to do for now. If we can get some exterior lighting, that would help out a lot, too, because then... A strange occurrence. Okay, mysterious ore has been discovered. Sadie Uxter discovered some mysterious ore within the mine. It appears to be a faintly glowing cube of crystal that might not be entirely natural. It definitely looks valuable, though. Mildred Ore Stamper, or Ore Stamper does seem interested in researching the strange glowing properties of the cube and says that by studying it, it will surely destroy it in the process. Uh, let's destroy the cube and find out with science. So the road to the future is paved with research. Sure, somebody may want to buy glowing rocks, but then they'd figure out their secrets instead of us. And we've got to do it for the Empire. For the Great Empire. Have them clear out that shrine right there. That's a little too close to the city for my liking. So Ors Temper is successfully studied by breaking it scientifically. Their research has been advanced. So did that, like, basically just generate a bunch of points for them? Or, like, how did that help me? I like how she's got a lab coat. It's pretty awesome. Makes me happy. How are we doing with our diplomatic shit down here? Our diplomats, we will write flattery. So there it is. That should bring us up with the von Stallmarks. 
which we're actually completely neutral with them right now. So it's going to take us some work to get that one short away. But it'll be all right. In addition, so long as we're not mashing too much out over here, go ahead and stop with the science materials and the glass bottles. And instead, let's refocus ourselves on the production of bricks. Many, many, many bricks. We will have to find a clay mine, though, pretty soon. Unless, unless the ore was lost before science could be applied to it. No! How are you going to lose the one thing? That was your only job. All you had to do was keep an eye on the ore and not screw this up. Oh, my God. Send them to the stockade. That's it. Hang them. Done. Done and done. So the depth of the mine is 50 right now. We would need the... Well, we need a metallurgy place first. So I'll think about that in just a moment. People seem to be doing all right, though. Like, our... Wow. That's a lot of, like, growing stages and whatnot for just, like, 50 outputs. But then again... If we go with bread... Oh, you get two out, though. Okay. So keep that at 100, then. How much bric-a-brac do I have? 20. That's the evil grimoire. <laughs> it's a forbidden artifact. I thought we said we were going to burn it, though. I'm pretty sure we said that that was going to be the next thing that we did is we we're going to burn it. I'm going to do improved decor next so that we can get lamps and stuff like that that we can put outside. Because most of our buildings are actually too cramped right now. And adding a couple of lamps to the outside of each building, I think, will be hugely beneficial. For the decor workshop, just make bric-a-brac. That's... Like, maintain, I don't know, 100 brick of brag for now. And then you just make planks, like, all day long. Just planks, planks, planks. We have identified the cult's leader, Owen Griptype Thine, who intends to explore the Screaming Void through astral projection. We've also identified the object of cult worship, the constellation which appears only near the Black Moon. Okay. So this guy right here is actually the leader of the cult. Hopefully we can bring him back inside the noble grace of the Emperor. And if we cannot, he will face the torch. I find that their living space is probably the most important thing to keep them happy with, because they spend a lot of time there every single day. So we may as well... What is she doing over here? Oh, she's working on a special project. Okay, I was going to say, I saw, I saw a progress bar filling up and was just like, um... So what's up with that? With the Republic. You can write apologies and all that kind of stuff. Alright. Well, we'll keep that in mind, but we got a lot of research to draw on. There is clearly a cult at work in this colony. The question is, what is to be done? Narek Strongtonic, the NCO, proposes to eliminate the cult's leader. We don't really know how to disrupt the cult's focus of power. Well, let's let the counter-ritual happen. We'll fight them with the righteous light. The righteous light of our dear Lady of the Cog. We'll attempt to exercise the cult's place of worship. Good for you. It's a beautiful day to be done. We're going to follow her. I think she's going to go over here and she's going to try and exercise this. Hopefully it doesn't go completely and totally and horribly wrong. Oh, the other cultists is here. They're having a rap battle right now. A rap battle of the gods. The deities are spitting hot fire at one another. Just trying to run them off the stage. Did you succeed? Were you victorious? I don't know if she was victorious in her battle against the dark. I hope that she was, but it's not looking that way. Uh, the next thing we really, really, really needed to build, oh shit. They've summoned Eldritch Evil. Here comes the god for the Great Republic. Ooh, we can also, I believe, salvage this stuff. 
Yeah. Plant grass, plant shrubberies, nobody cares. Um, scavenge, please. See what you can find inside of their tents. Sometimes there's some really good stuff in there, like weapons and whatnot. And we can put that to use, because we have all kinds of problems right now. She has help, right? She has two people assisting her? What do they look like, the people that are assisting her? These people are gossiping in here. God, such a small building, and there's so many people inside of here. Everybody wants help today. Good lord. I think that stack of bricks right there is actually, like, stuck. I don't think they're ever going to take it. I've lost faith. I can feel it falling away from me right now. As far as crafting goes, the only thing we're lacking is a metal works. And I get the feeling I was probably supposed to build that a little bit sooner than I did. But hey. I'm going to give myself more room with this one. Quite a bit more room, in fact. Just so I can have, like, decorations and things inside the room. Because it looks to me as though we're going to need a lot of these. Uh, we can do a stone smelting crucible. I think we already have an iron charcoal kiln. Pretty sure we have one sitting around over here somewhere. Yeah, 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 we do. I'm glad I didn't sell that thing, because we'll have the iron charcoal kiln inside of here. I am hoping that with our assignments and whatnot, we should get done with the harvesting of... Ooh, good. The wheat's coming in soon. Real, real soon. Uh, good. We're actually in decent shape with the Nova Russians. If you could declare hostility. I don't know why you would do that. That seems like a bad plan. Like, you're friendly with them right now. That's kind of just like shitting on your ally. Like, it seems like a poor plan. It doesn't feel like it's going to work out to me. Have we completed enough research to get the upgraded decorations? Ah, oh, there it is. After some discreet inquiries and a midnight shipment from Novarus, our scientists presented us with a number of translated copies of Soul of Ruggery. This instruction manual, written by the Tsar's prodigal nibbling, is considered the de facto book of reformed Novarusian aesthetics. This could teach our decor crafters quite a bit about new types of decor. We may now construct carpet and rug decor modules using a carpentry workshop's decor bench. And then, these modules cost more bric-a-brac than normal decor, but do not block colonists from walking over them, freeing up space in your building. Our scientists have also had new ideas. We can also research outdoor decor. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, and I'm so glad to hear it. We've 25 right there, we've 19 right there, so 34-ish. So for now, another person has found out that their family sucks. Eh, that's the way life goes sometimes. Ooh, planetary alignment. The colonist shivers. A truly strange celestial event occurs. An alignment of the planets. A strange blackness spreads out from a single point in the sky, blotting out all other stars. You feel as though tonight is a very bad night to go outside. I'm just going to uh, close the windows and lock them. Looks like we have traitors incoming, which is very, very good. I don't really know what else to say about the rest of it, though. So if we wanted to make outdoor stuff, I assume that's going to be a decorative bench inside of a metalworking place, possibly. I can put a decorative module inside of here, right? Yeah, I was going to say, put a, put a decor workbench inside of there. Why not? I, I want to see what I can craft with it, and if I can put those things in people's houses or... If it gives me another option to convert clay into stuff instead of constantly having to have bric-a-brac, I would like that. So. They're doing research over here. Next research would be advanced module research. Probably a good idea. Alternatively, we could go with advanced weaponry and training. We could also grow tobacco. Or let's do alcohol distillation because we've got the pub, but it's not even being used right now. Until we have the ability to make liquor, and so why worry about it? They're over here tearing down the bandit camp, which is great, because that normally means they're going to come back with some pretty cool shit. Looks like we got a tri-pistol locker. Fantastic. We got some sulfur. Oh, that's native gold. Never mind. We also got some rum. Okay. Very, very good. I, I like picking through the bandit camps. But, 
along those lines, we are out of time right now. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Clockwork Empires. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Hi to everybody. And uh, check out the Patreon if you haven't. It's a great way to support the channel and make sure I'm not going anywhere to make sure that you also get bonus videos every single week a little bit ahead of the curve. They do go up on YouTube all by themselves, but the Patreon backers get them first. I also put out like little Snapchat type deals and, you know, it gives you access to the Discord server where you can talk to me and I try to stay logged in while I'm recording and whatnot. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Check that on out though. Bye everybody.